What are the upcoming changes to the MB910 Microsoft Dynamics 365 Fundamental CRM exam? And how would they affect you if you are taking this exam? Hello, I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. So the MB910 is one of the two exams which tests Microsoft Dynamics 365 Fundamentals. So this exam is all about CRM, the Customer Relationship Management, as opposed to the 920, which is all about ERP. Enterprise Resource Planning. So basically, 910 is all about software which is customer facing. So if we scroll down, you can see the modules that we have got, the skills that are measured. Dynamics 365 Marketing, Sales, Customer Service and Field Service, as well as Shared Features. So as I say, they are all customer facing. Now, every two months or so, Microsoft looks at each of their exams to see if they are up to date or whether they need some adjustments. So the latest version will be introduced on September the 19th, 2022. So let's have a look at the changes that will be made. So here you can see the study guide for the MB910. The 9 at the front, so 900, 910, 920, this indicates it's a fundamentals exam. So this is your first steps into Microsoft Dynamics 365 CRM, as opposed to say the 200 series or the 300 series, which is all about the details of using them. And if I go down, you can see that in addition to the skills measured, we have these individual items. Now it should be note that the bullets are intended to illustrate how we are assessing that skill and related topics may be covered in the exam. So it is not the totality of what you might be asked for and some further research might be of use. Now, what you see on the screen are the skills required up to September the 18th, 2022, but I'll talk through the changes that happen afterwards. So first of all, we've got Dynamics 365 Marketing. And the first thing that gets removed is this. So we've got describe event management features and capabilities and what's getting removed is including Microsoft Teams webinar. Now it's a bit odd that they are removing this. As I just said, bullet points are just illustrative and I think the more illustrations the better, but maybe this means that there is a de-emphasis on the Microsoft Teams webinar. It's not being specifically asked for. Now, in the Dynamics 365 marketing capabilities, there is a sixth bullet point being added, and that is describe real-time marketing concepts. So the reason for this is that these are bullet points that are on screen are all about outbound marketing. So they're all about the customer journeys, marketing emails, leads, and that sort of thing. However, there is another section to marketing, and this is real-time marketing. So we're largely talking about triggers here. So in other words, how can we send emails or push notifications or text messages to customers based on what they are doing? And you can see some instances, some examples of the triggers. So emails being bounced or delivered, marketing events, marketing forms being visited or created, and so on. So these are examples of real-time marketing. Going back to the exam study, describe the capabilities of Dynamics 365 Customer Insights and it ends with including audience insights and engagement insights. Well, the engagement insights is being removed and therefore the entirety of these is being removed because now Dynamics 365 Customer Insights is just about audience insights. Engagement insights was in preview, but it was discontinued at the end of February 2022. So it's just interesting that it stayed in the exam as long as it did. If we go down to Dynamics 365 Sales, there is a new bullet point of describe order and invoice management. And this to me is a bit odd because really that's part of the court lifestyle. The quotation lifestyle is going from a court to an order to an invoice. So it's interesting that they are expanding this to explicitly say order and invoice management. There's also an and being put into this bullet point. So it's described sales pipeline and forecasting concepts. So I think again, that's just being a bit more explicit. There is a sales pipeline forecasting concepts, but there's also a sales pipeline and that can be separate from actually using it, the forecasting. 
Dynamics 365 customer service, I think, is the one that has the most change. This was severely reduced in the last update and is now being expanded. So coming back into Dynamics 365 customer service is describe omni-channel for customer service. So this is how you can use chat and voice calls and text or SMS or Microsoft Teams or social media channels in Dynamics 365 customer service by using omni-channel. And also describe historical analysis. So this is using, for instance, the summary tab or the agent dashboard or the topic dashboard. In Dynamics 365 field service, the Describe Customer Asset Management is being moved into Describe Scheduling capabilities. So it says Describe Customer Assets and how to enable proactive customer asset maintenance. So the preventative maintenance processes has been removed from the latest changes. And then finally, Describe Shared Features. Well, this is a bit odd for me. Describe built-in reporting capabilities, including dashboards, charts, and views, have gone into integration options, and that's the wrong place. They are common customer engagement features. They are not integration options. They're just something that which are shared with all of these four Dynamics 365 field service, customer service, sales, and marketing. So again, what is a bit odd is what is coming in its place in this section, and that is describe the Dynamics 365 customer engagement apps. Well, the entirety of what we have seen is about the Dynamics 365 customer engagement apps. So for me, this isn't really a new bullet point. It's just a bit of an oddity. So these are the changes for the MB910. And really, the major change is in the Dynamics 365 marketing, where you will be looking at real-time marketing concepts and in Dynamics 365 customer service, where you'll be looking at the omni-channel for customer service and historical analytics. So if you are doing this exam after September the 19th, then you will need to research these topics. Now, if you'd like any assistance with any of these topics, then please consider having a look at my Udemy course, MB910. So in this, we'll have a look at the principles behind Dynamics 365 marketing, sales, customer service, and field service. So in around four and a half, five hours or so, we'll be going through each of these individual elements, marketing, sales, customer service, and field service, together with integration options and what is common to all of them. So we'll take each of the bullet points in the skills measured and have a look at what they are. And we'll be doing this not as a PowerPoint slideshow, but actually getting a free trial of Microsoft Dynamics 365. And I'll be using this to demonstrate all of these points. So if you'd like to have a look at Dynamics 365 CRM, so maybe you're going for the MB910 or you just want more information about what Dynamics 365 is, then please have a look at my course. There is a link to it in the description to this video. Well, thank you very much for watching this. If you like this video, then please click the like button. And why not subscribe and click that bell? That way you'll be notified of any new videos. Thank you very much for watching this. I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com and keep learning.